hi in this presentation we will discuss about types of pharma patent based on patent claims and generic launch decision means the effect of types of patents on generic launch decision So different patent types first is product patent which is claiming the molecule or NCE that means new chemical entity itself so product patent is broadest kind of patent it provides broadest protection to the product and product patent is difficult to circumvent or bypass generic will not be allowed till the expiry of product patent so generic can be launched only after expiry of product patent so product patent is broadest kind of patent it is providing wide broad protection next patent type is patent claiming polymorphic form like different amorphous form or a crystalline form or maybe claiming different salt form like sodium salt potassium salt or calcium salt of the product or it may be claiming isomer or enantiomer or maybe claiming metabolite of product so these type of product claims they may be circumvented or bypassed by proactive r and d if generic company does proactive r and d then they may be able to bypass these types of patents so they may develop alternative form of product maybe they may develop different polymorph form maybe different crystalline or different amorphous form they may be able to develop different salt form suppose patented form is potassium salt form then they may be able to develop sodium salt form so generic company by proactive r and d they may be able to circumvent or bypass these types of patent claims but in certain cases these types of patents can prevent generic launch depending on type of product its stability its self life its developmental cost because different polymorphic form or different salt form they have different physical properties they will have different stability profile so they will have different self life the product from these alternative polymorph form or salt form which generic company is developing they may have different stability data they may have different self life and if the product is not very stable with generic product which generic company is developing then if it is not very stable then the developmental cost will increase because it is very difficult to develop the unstable product into a stable formulation and maybe the self life of so developed product may be shorter so if generic company develops a alternative polymorph or salt form if it is less stable or having shorter self life and it is associated with the higher cost then generic company may decide not to launch such product so that's why these types of patents sometime may be difficult to bypass or circumvent and then the company may not be able to launch the alternate to salt form or polymorph amorphous form because different polymorph or different salt form they have different stability different self life and different costs associated with the development next patent type is method of use patent or indication patent 
so these patents they are claiming specific indication of a specific method of use for example a patent is claiming the method of treating cancer or method of treating breast cancer by product of given formula so that treatment of breast cancer is the indication which is protected by indication or method of use patent but these patents they protect only the claimed indication so this type of product in this example it will protect only the breast cancer treatment and generic product can be launched for other unpatented indication suppose product is having three indication may one may be the breast indication breast cancer treatment second may be other type of skin cancer or lung cancer if only breast cancer treatment is protected then generic company can launch for other unpatented maybe lung cancer or skin cancer treatment which are not patented so the method of use or indication patent they protect only the claimed indication and generic product can be launched for other indication which are not patented next patent type is formulation patent or composition patent or maybe patent claiming the drug delivery system maybe formulation of control lease or sustained lease formulation so these types of patents formulation and composition patent they can be circumvented or bypassed by generic company the generic company can develop alternative formulation or alternative composition which are not covered by patent suppose the patent is claiming a composition with different excipients for example excipient a b and c so generic company can develop a product of composition with excipient not with abc but with excipient xyz so they are, may use different excipients and if they are able to develop a successful formulation with those alternative excipients if they are able to develop the successful alternative formulation then they can launch the generic product by by bypassing such type of formulation or composition patents next is the process patent the process patent they basically claim the specific process of manufacturing may be process of manufacturing the api active pharmaceutical ingredient the chemical which is there in the drug or maybe they may be claiming the process of manufacturing the formulation so they are claiming specific process of manufacturing either api or formulation but generic company can develop alternative process of manufacturing they may develop different process of manufacturing the api or different process of manufacturing the formulation so they may develop alternative process which are not patented so generic product may be manufactured by different unpatented process can be launched so as you know the uh, product a can be synthesized by so many processes so maybe company uh, the branded company has patented one or two processes so generic company can up can come up with different process process number 3 process number 4 so alternative processes they may develop or they may synthesize their product with alternative or different unpatented process so those if they are able to develop the alternative process of manufacture then they can easily bypass this kind of patented process patent claims and generic product can be launched this slide shows you the example of product patent claim in actual patent if you see this uh, image of this patent this patent is claiming what is claimed is a compound which is of given chemical formula so this chemical formula of this product which is claimed is given see the green highlighted portion what is claimed is compound 
which is of formula as given so this patent is claiming the product itself so it is a very broad claim so anything which is of this given formula is covered by this patent so this patent is covering this product by chemical product of specific chemical formula usually patent they never claim by product name for example the company will not claim a compound for example atorvastatin or simvastatin they will always claim a compound by its chemical name or chemical formula or structural formula so it is not so easy to find out what product is covered by a patent so basically you have to identify the chemical structure and chemical name and chemical formula and then you have to come up uh, with the product name which is associated with that chemical structure or chemical formula so in patent the product is usually claimed by its chemical structure or chemical name or chemical formula so you can see this example of product patent claim what is claim is product which is of given formula so product patent provide the broadest protection and generally cannot be launched before the expiry of such patents next is the example of indication or method of use patent if you see in this actual patent what is claimed is a method of treating breast cancer by administering compound of formula 1 so it is claiming the treatment of breast cancer by administering the compound of given formula so this is indication patent or method of use patent so the generic product cannot be launched for the treatment of breast cancer because of this patent but the same product can be launched by generic for treatment of other indications or treatment of other types of cancer if they are not patented so as i said earlier in the example if the product product is having three indications one is breast breast cancer which is patent protected and suppose product is same product is also used for the skin cancer or lung cancer then it can be the generic company can launch the product for treatment of skin or lung cancer if these skin and lung cancer are not protected by patent so indication or method of use patent they protect only that specific indication or method of use next example is composition patent claim if you see in this patent image this is actual patent so this patent is claiming the composition or formulation so if you see what is claimed is a pharmaceutical composition comprising of compound of specific formula with at least one excipient selected from the given list so many kind of excipients are given so the any at least one excipient is selected from this list so this is composition patent so this composition patent they can be easily circumvented by generic company they can develop alternative formulation with unclaimed or the excipient which are not claimed so instead of using the excipient which are claimed in this patent they will use alternative excipient and will develop alternative formulation so generic company can use uh, usually they can circumvent or bypass such composition or formulation patents next is process patent so as i said these are claiming specific process of manufacturing either formulation or api so in this example in actual patent claim you will see it is claiming process of preparing the tablet formulation so it is claiming the process of preparing or process of preparation of tablet formulation so if you see this in this claim invention claimed is process of preparing tablet comprising mixing compound of given chemical formula with given excipients then preparing the granules drying the granules and then compressing the granules 
to form the tablet. So this is basically claiming the process of preparation of a tablet formulation. So this kind of process patent also can be easily bypassed or circumvented by generic pharma companies. So they can develop alternative process of manufacturing the formulation. So that's all in this presentation. Thank you very much.